Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Black Box Mobile. Just wanted to get this out real quick. Um, so not much editing or anything going on in this video. Not that I have that that often. But uh, for anybody who is curious about Black Friday deals and if they should get the Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, uh, just want to let you know that it is a very good phone. But if you're really in it for the cameras, I know a lot of people are out there saying that, oh my gosh, the cameras are the best. They're light years ahead of of uh you know the old pixels and so many other phones and uh i don't know i just don't find that to see to be the case for for me in my experience so far now the cool thing about google is they tend to come out with uh, software upgrades all the time and they do change the cameras a lot so maybe things will get better with time but just to show you guys real quick take a look at just some random photos i took so pixel 7 pixel 4 xl which in my opinion is still a excellent, excellent camera in itself. So this is a picture of a garbage can, you know, it's very exciting. And I don't really see that much difference. Actually, a matter of fact, I don't know if it's because of the new technology, new lenses that uh, all these phone manufacturers are making, but they don't seem to always focus. It, takes turns so in this shot for example um it's you know fairly fairly focused and this is as well maybe a little more but not that much more cool thing is you do get the wide angle lens i wish the 4xl gave you that but they didn't that would have been a big big deal but uh here's why so when you zoom in, the detail is much stronger on this. Obviously, this has an optical two times telephoto lens. This is just relying on uh, the digital crop from the bigger sensor. And over here, it's actually pretty much the same, like not it's hard to see. I wish I had more time to show you guys, you know, on a computer and actually process the image is, but this is for the most part, exactly what you're getting. Like this is a crop. So surprisingly digital zoom during, you know, good lighting is pretty good, but I'm telling you, it's not that big of a difference. Here's, a portrait shot you know they both look good the portrait's stronger on the 4xl and for whatever reason decided to really blur out this and not so much there colors also a little bit warmer sometimes and here's where i really notice the difference with these new sensors in these new phones so more of the shot with the old ones are in focus In comparison to the new ones so if you are have a pixel 3 xl or 4 or 4 xl or whatever and you're thinking about stepping up specifically for the cameras i'm going to be honest with you i'm not sure it's 100 percent worth it is the phone good yes it's great it's fast it's smooth it's it's responsive um but just keep that in mind if you're looking for a better camera experience might not be the best move just yet now one last thing it's not all bad it definitely has its caveats uh face on blur is excellent it does really work although sometimes it does kind of give you this very kind of really wavy processed creamy like look but uh for the most part it's 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 really it's really good and uh magic eraser is a nice feature so those are two things that the 4XL doesn't have. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, so if you're looking for new features, of course, the Pixel 7 is going to keep rolling with them. And every three months or so, I believe Google does these drop features. So there is stuff to look forward to. But if you are just taking regular shots, um, especially in good lighting, it's good. The night photos are much better on the Pixel 7. So Again, there is stuff that the Pixel 7 has over the 4XL, but I just think in general, sometimes the pictures look more dynamic on the 4 and are sharper. 
So I hope this helps anybody make their decision, especially with these really good deals out there. This phone is definitely worth the buy. But again, if you still have an older Pixel, it might be worth holding on to it. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think and share your thoughts and opinions on what your experience with the Pixel 7 is like, especially if you moved from a previous Pixel. Catch you guys on the next one.